Hey guys, this is Coach Yachty and it's week seven and this is Valerie, of course. And for this week, all right, she did not lose any weight. So she stayed at 313, but that's okay. She lost one and a half inches around her waist and she lost one inch around her belly. So she's doing pretty good. Um, and what I want to talk to you guys about today is what has happened in this week seven that has kind of slowed down the process of the weight loss and, you know, possibly even fat loss. I think it could be greater, but Valerie's going to talk to us and tell us what she did on week seven that was different from the other weeks. So you want to go ahead and start um, talking. Go ahead. Um, well, one important thing that I should have been doing uh, was the affirmations, um, and I didn't do them all week. Um, until this morning. <laughs> and I think that that plays a huge role in your energy, your, you know, your just every, it plays a huge role in how you feel for the day. Um, and I wasn't doing it all, pretty much for the whole week. It was my birthday on Sunday and I kind of went out and mm -hmm. um, the affirmations went out the window. And um, th it does, it makes, if anybody, if you guys are not doing your affirmations, just try and, and do them in the morning. And it just creates this energy and it makes you feel a whole lot better about your day. Just telling yourself that you can do it, whatever you're trying to do. Right. So I think that that played the biggest, because I was doing my exercise and... Um, Did you feel more stressed throughout this week? I did. I felt really stressed because I knew I wasn't doing a lot of what I was supposed to be doing. Okay. I felt a lot of stress from that. And did you feel like more stress um, maybe in your job or anything like that? Or oh, um, yeah, there's been some things going on okay, in so my you, personal life, yeah. Okay, so stress, you know, will also add to it. But what happens is, um, you know, when you do affirmations, again, you get yourself into a positive mindset of thinking. So when you do that, your day will flow a lot easier and a lot better. And it doesn't matter whether you do them at nighttime before you go to bed or in the morning, just as long as you kind of set yourself up for that success. What happens is, like, let's say you are trying to accomplish a goal and you, um, like, she wasn't doing exactly what, you know, she was supposed to do maybe with her eating habits and stuff like that. So you kind of start getting into that downward spiral from it. Mm -hmm. Um, and then you kind of forget about that positive mindset or that positive thinking, mm -hmm. and then it'll continue from there. And I think that by doing the positive affirmations, um, you're going to reduce your stress. Your day is going to go better. You're actually going to probably be more organized, especially in your meals. Um, a lot of time, I think this past week, Valerie didn't prepare her meals. You know, she has this job stuff going on, and she didn't plan properly. So if you don't plan properly, um, that will, in the end, lead to um, just eating whatever's at sight at that particular moment. Do you feel yeah, that that, that happens, happens? on uh, Friday and Saturday. Uh -huh. uh, Friday, this past Friday and Saturday, I had a, I do um, shows, and basically I, I went there and without any What kind food. of shows? Just so um, that, that they know. We did a marathon, um, a marathon convention. Of and what? I'm sorry. Oh, I work at a wine store. <laughs> okay, sorry. I was all Okay. Um, basically, uh, there was a marathon expo, and we provided wine for the expo. I was there all day serving wine, and there was, I thought there, there would be, like, a deli or something there, and pretty much they were limited to sandwiches, and so I'm, therefore, I was limited to sandwiches and bread and right. stuff that I shouldn't have been eating. And probably not eating throughout the right. entire and time that you were By there. the time I left there, I was starving, and so it was very poorly planned. Um, and the food that I ate for those two days were, you know, things that I should not have been eating. Like you said, if I would have brought something with me and planned ahead for it, it, it wouldn't have happened, you know, and then... Uh, trying to celebrate my birthday, so it, right. you know, it's just... 
Right, and then and it does the thing, you know, you can celebrate your birthday, you can have fun, and you won't feel guilty, you know, in doing so if you've done everything else according to you know, I mean, I think that you'll feel good about yourself, and that way, when you do actually eat a piece of cake on right. your birthday, it's you'll feel fine. If right. I hadn't been doing it on the two days prior, it wouldn't have been right. a huge deal. Exactly. So, for this upcoming um, week, week eight, Valerie, um, we're going to try, or, I mean, I think you're going to try to do your affirmations every yes, day. every day. <laughs> right? Um, I think that that's going to be a big help, and I think by next week, we're going to expect you to lose anywhere from five to even ten pounds. I think that that's going to be, you know, our range or our goal. I think that she can definitely do it, and I physically, you know, I see Valerie every week, so I can actually see the difference in her body, and I'm starting to see it all here, and it's all starting to come down, and her body fat percentage is going to start to come down along with that. So just because she hasn't lost weight physically on the scale does not mean that she's still not improving. On top, she still has more muscle on her, so her metabolism is going to still be kicking in. So we don't, we're not going to have that slow down at all, and so she's going to continue with her exercises for this week. Um, I'm going to keep her the same in the exercises, though. I'm not going to change that. The thing that's going to change, her eating habits are going to be, um, I would say, more perfect than last week. And, you know, she's going to drink her water, do her affirmations, and we're going to see how that works out for week eight. Okay? So, Valerie, do you think you can do five to ten? I know I can. Oh, my God! <laughs> That's what I like to hear. All right, guys, so I will definitely see you next week and tune in. Oh, and one more thing. I will be um, doing a radio interview on the Performance Nutrition Show, so you can catch it. Um, I will actually have a podcast available after it's live because it is held live in Boca. Um, I don't know if necessarily people will be able to hear it all over. I think it's just more of a local radio station. Um, and we're, we're going to be talking about lots of different topics. But I will definitely give you the link for that uh, in week 8 because I film, or I'm sorry, I record this Sunday from 4 to 5 p.m. So I will let you know about that, and um, that's pretty much it for today. All right, take care, guys. Bye.